Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Neil Bone Fishing. In today's video, we got an order from Tackle Warehouse. We got a whole two pounds of nice freaking fiery butt burning baits right here. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get over to the tabletop, check out the pickups we got, and uh, let's get to it. If you would have gave me back my jitter bug, you would have had a body and a tail. All right, starting down the list, $5.99. We got the brand new Gobi bait from Z-Man, 10 times tough. It's called the Gobius, which I really like that name. That is a good name right there. And it's, uh, of course, you know, you got this super plastic structure swim bait right here. And this sucker is called Green Pumpkin Gobi. Let's open it up. Now, when you open it up, it's just sitting in this cardboard like this. You got to pluck that off to the side. And then there will be two staples in there. But I saved us some of that good work. But I do recommend keeping this little cavity to put it back into so it keeps it good. What they do is they put a little slice on the side here. Kind of interlocks. And then you're greeted with the goby. Now, this thing looks fantastic. It looks really good. Definitely a good goby imitation. You got the bubbly eyes there which are made of the plastic there so they're never going to fall out or fall off we got some fins here looking really good stretchy this mama definitely works out got a little fin up top here let me get a good angle oh uh, yeah you can really see the colors pop now this is called green pumpkin but it has a lot of purple in it really cool got some gold glitter in there and uh we got a boxy looking hook here trying to skin this sucker back so we could see the hook but you can see it's a very boxy looking hook it's going to trap their lip in there now this sucker comes in three different sizes three eighth ounce half ounce and three quarter ounce so whatever weight you prefer you can get it in there and it says that it has this round tail here to create subtle natural like action so it's not going to be anything too crazy it's just going to look natural but look at that purple pop this one looks really good. I mean, this video should be in 4K, so up your resolution because this sucker's coming in looking good. We even got some lip detail. Very impressive. I love this thing. That is the first thing we got off the tackle warehouse at $5.99. Gobius. Put him right there. Next up at $3.99 off the of Tackle Warehouse. Sticking to the Gobi theme. We got the TRZ Gobi Z. Peanut butter and jelly. Get six to a pack. 2.4 inch. And uh, that's not a bad price. $3.99. They have a lot of different colors in this sucker. Let's take one out. Check this sucker out. We got six opportunities to catch a fish here. But as long as you don't get snagged, one will last you a while. Now, this is in the color peanut butter and jelly. It is a very light translucent purple there. But very similar to, actually, the Gobius. It's just uh, without the hook. Now, there's been some pretty new uh, freaky rigs out there now. You know, like the Hoover rig and the, uh, the new swim bait hook. So, I'd imagine pretty soon you could do your own little thing to get this to be pretty close to this you know getting the weight inside the bait with the hook and all but as you can see it is a pretty close replica except this one has more details and stuff like that you know but following that same body style and design we got the little bubble eyes here and uh that may seem a little shaky because i'm behind a camera trying to hold my arms up into the viewfinder to make it good but pretty nice looking goby there i'm really excited to try this this is really freaking cool yeah, that sucker looks sharp. Pumped up about that. Now, I don't know if this one comes in different sizes. I probably could have looked and told you that if it did or not, but I don't believe so. I believe as of right now, it just comes in the one size here. And that's it there in their trays. Perfect. And sticking with that Z-Man theme, because they've come out with so much great stuff this year, it's been uh, pretty impressive. We have the Z-Man Hercules. These are smaller ones. These are the 3-inch coming in at a quarter ounce, and these are $9.99, so basically $5 a piece right here. You do get two, which I like that. And this color is called Gold Rush here. Very nice. This one is actually built on a Mustad hook right here, which is very nice. Got that nice tough plastic. 
You even have some options if you want to add a little treble hook to that sucker. You can do that or a little blade. I'd like to add little blades when I have the chance. Or if you want to be the freaky dude out on the water. Let me show you something. You want to get really freaky? You want to freaking double dip? Go ahead. Double, double doggy dare you to tie these two together. Put a line from here to here. Swim these both. You'll definitely catch something. Maybe the, some of the saltwater guys would like that. But uh, me for now, I'm going to just throw this single one. We do got some detail here. We got a little anal fin there. A little fin back here. I mean, it looks pretty good. I know my one buddy really loves these things. So he talks about. But I didn't like the bigger size of it. You know, once I seen that they had a smaller one, that's when I was willing to give it a try. Because I'm not too big on pre-rigs. Unless it's a little goby style bait or something like that. I just have a lot of swim baits that, uh, you know, I could do this kind of thing myself. But this one definitely got my attention. It has some nice eyes in there. It looks good. Looks really great. I think it's going to do very well too. So that was the other pickup I got from Z-Man here is the Baby Hercules. Well, they're not called Baby Hercules, but they're just the Hercules. But really awesome. Two to a pack. And my Andacano don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Check that out. That color right there is called the Bad Anaconda. And these are $5.99. It's a new one from Berkeley. And I'm a big fan of the Berkeley baits. They just perform very well. I always had pretty good success on them. This is a half ounce. And we get the Fusion 19 hooks. And look at that paint job. That is awesome. That is a, the name of the paint job. It's called Bad Anaconda. And let me tell you that. All their blade bait paint jobs just look freaking awesome. I want them all. You know, but it would be pretty expensive at $5.99 to get them also. I got some of the colors that I really like personally, and uh, there's some that I know I'm at once. So I'm definitely going to go back and get some more of these. We got a nice high quality snap here that they use on their slobber knocker. I mean, look at that eye. That detail in that eye is cool. And uh, oh man, this thing just looks great. It looks like it's going to have some good colors in the water, like it's. Uh, what is that like uv looks like it's got some great uv colors going on in there you got three tie points that gives you some different action depending on what you want to do if you want to vertical jig it or what i just always keep it on the middle cast that baby out there let it hit the bottom jig it up let it fall down that's how i fish them and uh i tend to catch the most fish fishing it that way but really awesome and this actually has a built-in rattle chamber it may be hard to pick up on camera but i'm going to bring this over here to the microphone give it a good old shake and see if you guys could hear that and what you're hearing is not the hardware on here there is a, a little bb inside this part here but really awesome so we got that color and of course, I had to get me another color. This one here is called Sublime. Anybody ever listen to uh, that artist Sublime? Or Sublime? Yeah, I really like the chartreuse colors. I always seem to do the best for me when it comes to blade baits. Like the fire tigers and stuff. But we're going to crack this sucker open. Take it out of the plastic because it's a classic. Look at this. This one really stood out to me too. Really awesome paint job. We got a black dot there with orange. It's like they went spray painted it white. Then they hit it with a little orange dot. And then a little black dot over that with some chartreuse. And this has your regular Berkeley eyes. So as you can see here. I thought maybe the eyes were painted onto the metal of the bait. But no these are actually different eyes here. So this is your more, you know, what you come to recognize with Berkeley with their eyes there. You know, that little nice bass-shaped eye. Not sure how good that's going to pick up, but when this thing's rattling along, you get a lot of vibration with blade baits. So this sucker's really going to gonna rattle. These hooks are sharp. Goodness. I'm trying to do something here. Yeah, that's awesome right there. One with the half ounce, you know. Can never go wrong with the half ounce on the blade baits. You can really get them out there far. They drop. I got a lot more deeper water where I'm at. So, fish are going to love these suckers. So, picked up two of those. $5.99. $12 all together. 
right, next we got a little pricey one coming in at $10.99. We got the Berkeley Dime right here. And this is uh, what they're talking about here. It says, tie on the Berkeley Diamond. Score big. Cast further. Track straight. Match a hatch. And fish confidently. When it's time to fill the boat, it's time to start dropping dimes. It's got the patented flash disks disc technology balsa like action and plastic weight transfer system for further casting sticky sharp fusion 19 hooks first in a class paint jobs so this one here is called the hd crawl as you see hd brown crawl and uh definitely on a pricier side there how do we get in here we gotta bust this sucker open i do like the box that they have here though you know sometimes they they do tend to, some of their older baits, they would put into like a clamshell thing like that. So as we're going to rip this sucker open, get a good look at her. Oh, that fill is good. Like you could fill the weight transfer system just bouncing around in there. So there we go. Got the dime in there. huh? Got a nice logo. And it looks like it even moves a bit. It looks like it comes in and out. So this is the specs here. This sucker's gonna be a half an ounce, two and a quarter inch, six to eight feet, which is perfect for me. That's exactly where I need to be getting down at this winter time there, right along them ledges there, where they like to hang out because they could come up shallow, eat, go down deeper, stay warm, move around with very little effort, but that paint job does look crazy. It looks like a great crawl. Got the uh, OPEG bill. That paint job is freaking cool. Definitely some nice hooks. That's one thing great about it too. Because you might look, it's a $10.99 bait. You, you know, a lot of times you buy a bait like this, you know. I know baits went up, but if you were to get like a DT6, they're like 10 bucks anyway, you know. But they do come with decent hooks. Um, but, you know, some of the other baits out there be like 8 bucks, And then by the time you get good hooks and stuff on it and get it tuned the way you want, you're already looking at like about 10 11 bucks. So, this one's just ready to fish right out of the pack. And uh, something they haven't seen before, you know. Definitely some nice, unique paint jobs. And one thing, they always tell you to dive in depth on the bottom of most of their baits. So, that's really cool right there. Definitely ha glad to have that sucker. Hopefully, maybe during Black Friday, some of the Berkeley stuff goes on sale like it did last year. And I could pick up some more of it. So, that is the Berkeley Dime. I fell in love with this bait when I first seen it. I said, wow, that is awesome right there. Because I just started recently getting into, like, the Mega Bass Mag Draft. And, uh, you know, this came out right around that time I started getting into that. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. This is pretty similar to it, you know. But this sucker here is uh, six inches long. It is a swim bait. It's uh, adjustable. We have a size one hook on there. And uh, is that what it's saying? Hook size one, yeah. And this is a morning dawn color. Ghost morning dawn. Look at that sucker. I'm surprised it took me this long to get my hands on one, you know, because I was pretty eager to get this sucker right away. And this would work right now where I'm at. Even though it's getting cold, for sure. I went out the other day and uh, caught a nice uh, chain pickerel on that little mega bass knockoff from Timu. But that's really cool right there. Look at that colorway. This sucker feels nice and soft. That tail, I mean, look at that tail hang. They have this like little honeycomb section up in here, which is nice. Now they did come out with a, a chatterbait trailer. I think it's called the Power Stinger. And the ones that I have, I wasn't too impressed with. You know, they seemed a little stiffer and hard. And I know there was a recall on these suckers when they first came out. They replaced anybody who had the uh, original one because of it being stiff. And I have a feeling that they're going to, they need to soften up the power stinger like this. You know, this is very nice right here. But this feels like a plastic that's going to hold up and last you quite, quite long. It doesn't feel like it's going to just fall apart anytime soon. And as you see here, we do have the nice swivel. Now, I follow a lot of the... Uh, the berkeley europe and over in europe they do a lot of pretty clever stuff you know they're really big into catching uh pike and perch and they have a lot of cool setups like a lot of these baits here you know probably already been over in europe already they have a whole different lineup that we don't get here in the states but this sucker here is awesome so as you can see this will just slide right out of there 
got a little harness here. They don't use a magnet because that's a mega bass thing. You know, they probably try to be a little bit different here. Although this is definitely uh, mega basses. I didn't really pronounce that right, but they definitely got some uh, motivation for mega bass there. But what's nice, the fish bites it. It gets in their mouth. It has a swivel here so they cannot get some leverage and throw it. So that's really cool. Got the built-in harness. Uh, this thing looks amazing right here. Feels really good too. You could probably get pretty dirty with it and put a rattle on there if you wanted to. Oh, uh, look at that. That is exactly what that's for. They have a spot that you could insert a rattle. So that is really cool. I forgot about that. That just made me realize that. Look and think of where could I put a rattle. And pff, right there. You actually get two rattles up in there. So that is cool. That is a great color right there. That's going to look really good in some uh, clear water right there. Definitely going to give this a good try and see what happens. I would have got it in the pearly white, but I got a Mega Bass one in the white. So I looked at this stuff I had in Mega Bass and, uh, you know, I was like, let me get this color. Looks really good. I like it. So there we go. We got the call shad. Got to mention it's a little bit more than a half an ounce, not much more, and it has the power bait scent. Now what I'm really excited for, and I've been waiting for this sucker, is brand new from Berkeley is the Nesty 7. Now this is a soft paddle, not paddle tail, a soft glide bait right here. This thing is freaking awesome. We got it in a perch pattern, and uh, let's see what it's saying here. This weighs one ounce, seven inches long. It's a glide bait, slow sinking. And you can see how it's built. We got the mesh there. We got the little rudders to keep this thing gliding and running true. And then, you know, we got the retention clip there to keep it hooked up with the bearing, with the swivel. This one's going to be awesome right here. And one ounce, you can throw on most rods. You don't need anything special. So that's what's really great about this. And look at that eye. That eye looks great. Our retention clip's looking good. The sucker can freaking spin. Nice and freely. Got a little spot to hook that in. And look, what do you know? Oh, I thought that might have been a spot for like a rattle. I'm not too concerned about a rattle with this sucker. But they might have it on there. We have this sucker here. It looks like a guitar pick there. That's what's going to help keep this thing lined up good. And what's cool about it is it also looks like fins there. You can see the mesh popping up there. Got the paintbrush tail. And for 10 bucks, you cannot go wrong. This this feels light. One ounce is really nothing. I mean, you could throw this on a, whatever you want, really. Even if you, if you got a spinning rod out there, if you got a medium heavy spinning rod, you're good. It don't take much with this. Very light filling. And this is 7 inch. It comes in a couple different sizes, but I was like, I want the 7 inch one. And this pattern is called Perch. And just double check. Let's see if that's what we got here. Whoop. Yep, perch. That is it. Fusion 19 hook. I'm very pumped up for this. This is my favorite bait right here on the table right now. I think this is going to be awesome. I was messing around with that little Mega Bass knockoff glide bait and call it a nice freaking uh, chain pickerel. Seems durable too. Got the power bait sent to it. Feels good to tell. I mean, this sucker's in there good. There's like a hard, they like melt it all together. Really awesome. And it's going to be a shorter video. We're going to wrap this sucker up and uh, get a little pictures of these. And uh, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And guys, we hit a thousand subscribers, man. There's just not enough ways I could thank you enough. We will have something coming up. In the, down the road you know to celebrate this but uh i figure for now let me show you my setup real quick where i make my videos so these are the guys that i collected right here from the holiday shop you know uh seems around holidays carl's comes out with some special paint jobs and we got that one right there the gingerbread cookie and um we got some movies here you know that i don't really plan on getting rid of my mom got me this for christmas because she knows i like the boardwalk empire so i gave uh nookie a nice feather there and then we got the uh godfather i got that from my boss 
And, uh, you know, this stuff, the VHS stuff sells for pretty good money right now. But I'm, I'm keeping them. I'm not really worried about the money. I, I like the look of it. But we gave him a little hatchet, you know what I mean? And uh, Indiana Jones right there. I actually had to wrestle this gator to get my jitterbug back. And you could tell he won that war. And we got a packy chip up here because uh, whenever that day comes that I need to eat that, you know, and the old bone's going to go put his lips on the big sipper there. I actually got that from my boss lady too, which is pretty cool. And uh yeah, this is like my tackle, all the hard baits and stuff we got like up in here, some some jigs, spooks. We, we could go through this one day. There's a, a lot of stuff to go through. That's my little dresser there and what's in the closet. And then we have some soft plastics and stuff on the wall and some stuff in the containers. And uh, I got a lot of fish and stuff. My one closet's uh, over here is pretty filled up. As you see, my rods, I take them on and off. We got rods up there in the corner. I got some in the car. And uh, yeah, this is it here. Just a whole mix of different stuff here. I don't know if you guys are into this. I'd imagine so, right? That's what we're all here. We got Epic Eric sticker in the back. A drawing that I drew before. All kinds of good stuff. That is a wrap. We made it to 1,000 subscribers, man. We started from a little ant. Now we're getting bigger. You know they call me Daddy Long Legs around here. And it's all thanks to you guys, you know. I mean, none of this is possible without your viewership. I mean, we, we're getting views from Europe and stuff like that. That's wild. So my European fellas and ladies... What's up, my American people? What's up? Actually, my analytics say that. A lot of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. But I think that's just how it goes for everybody. People just zoom through and stuff. But I want to say thank you very much for the 1,000 subscribers. Not going to keep this running any longer. But we will have a surprise for the 1,000 subscribers coming up shortly. So I uh, just want to say thank you again. Hope you have a good night. And peace out. Alexa, resume Richard Simmons' intensity workout. Alexa, resume Richard Simmons! Where's the damn remote at?